How are you doing? I'm fine. All right. Um, I don't want anybody on this side because how would not see everybody is in that way. But seeing that, you can talk to the inspector, she in, and she will tell you. What's her name? Miss Sanka. Which one? That one there? Yeah, right behind the barrier. Okay, cool. Right? Thanks. Yeah. Where is it? He's with the media, but um, I am Sanka. You didn't talk to me. Yeah, Officer yeah, Sanka, to... sorry. I got your name from your colleague down there. Would you oh, allow me to get some didn't... footage? No, I can't. It... The fire service mm -hmm. has declared, declared the, area. the area to be no access. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, um, they're going right now to get the people out of there who there but the people who there are from EMA mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. I just want to get the edge of the mud for news the edge of the mud yeah I won't be long come with me thank you you're coming oh, at your own back. risk eh? yeah no problem oh Hoggins
Good morning, my name is Cherry Hercules. I am a worker at the Devil's Woodyard under the Forestry Division. Around 4.15 this morning, there was an eruption at the Devil's Woodyard. And at 9.15, there was another eruption. Right now, there are the EDMA, the police, and onlookers looking at the sites. When, but um, tell me about the people, most people you saw around when you discovered? Well, when we come, it was about 100 people around. Um, the workers, it's 35 workers, is open. The devils were there and here. And well, the police didn't want anybody to go in. Well, right now, the EDMA is visiting the sites. In the history of this volcano, when last there was an eruption and how severe it was? In, that was in about 1939, somewhere around. Like before your time? Yeah. But what you heard about that eruption? Well, it was worse than this one because all the sheds and things had covered them. So it was worse than this one, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anybody was injured? Nobody was injured. So who, so who took charge? Well, when the villagers them hear the eruption, they call in the police and the police them come in and then they call the, EDA, the EDMA and they come and they call the place. Come to the green room. Okay. So what kind of distance the mud started to, to spread? Well, the first eruption, it, it, it started big. And then the second one make it more worse, it get bigger. And right now, it, the mud still rising, the mud still rising, and we're just waiting until further notice and if anybody else could go in to see. Yeah. Is it hot to go in? We don't know. We didn't get the chance to go in to see if it's hot to go. Okay, so give me your name again. Cheryl Hercules. In your portfolio? I am a laborer at the Devils with the forestry. Thank you very much. My name is Primchan Buchun. I'm the ground attendant for the park, Devil's Woodyard Park. Right. So yesterday morning when I came to work, I observed the volcano was in a small eruption site. We had a lot of activity yesterday morning and we know that it was going to erupt. Up to yesterday evening when I leave the site, it was still active. And only about quarter to five this morning it went off a huge er eruption and then after during the course of the day there is about nine it had a second eruption which was similar to the first this morning and as you could see how the place is that is how the eruption had it right. compared to previous years how severe this one was well, this one wasn't severe as the last one we had in 95, you know. 95, the, it was more serious and then more surface that cover up. All right, sir. All right, cool. Yeah, more surface that cover up with the mud. But this year, it, this time, in fact, it was not as great as the last one. Any injuries? No injuries. No damages to property or anything like that. Is it likely to simmer down? Or? Well, we cannot say as yet if it will simmer down or if it will have a, another eruption. Right now the guys and them doing a little survey on it, so they might be able to tell us something later on. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. My name is Tara Puranlal. I live just opposite the Devil's Woodyard Mud Volcano, about 300 feet away. And this morning, around 4.30, I heard the rumbling sound. I came out earlier, and um, when I heard the noise, I went back inside. But at, that, that was about quarter past four, and at 4.30, when I heard the noise again, and when I came out, this noise was so loud, it was like a, a loud rumbling sound, like when you hear an aeroplane taking off and just run like that and it was going down and I feel like it was going down the road and um, it was really frightening the noise you could I feel the rumbling in your belly 
the way how hard it was sounding. And at that moment, um, I, I called my children and I asked them to come out and get the things together and they came out ready to move with their vehicle while we were out here. We were not sure if we could have taken any pictures because you couldn't see anything at that time. It was still dark. We were, we were afraid to go near because we were not sure in which direction the lava was going. So we were afraid. And, um, and soon after, when we heard the sound die down, then we went up a little further to see what happened. Compared to other eruptions, how, how would you estimate this one? This one is bigger than the last. This one is bigger. And um, then this one was, if it had a first one at 430. Soon after, we heard some noises again. And then at 10 to 9, there was a second eruption. So you yeah. said you gathered the children together? Yes, uh, but just to, to leave, just, just in case, you know, um, we see the mud coming this way, or you must know, you know, you would have an idea, because the lights that we have in the park is only facing this area instead of the volcano area. So you couldn't see on the other side. But if it's coming this way, you could see it. So in that way, that's why we organize ourselves. In, in case of that, we could just drive, we'll go further in, in the road. Uh, yes. Are you, are you yeah, kind of comfortable, but still, I'm looking at how it is looking there, and I see that it's, um, it has changed. The, the earth has lifted a little more again on this end, and that is more frightening. Yes. Yes, it is because last night, last night on the um, volcano itself, the the middle middle of the volcano lifted itself. Yeah, it was. Yes, it was. Michelle Benjamin, Princess Star. Ready? Michelle Benjamin. Councilor for Hindustan St. Mary's attached to the Princess Town Regional Corporation. Um, we're here at the Devil's Woodyard site where we had an eruption this morning. The first one was recorded around half past four this morning by the residents. But the volcano showed signs even yesterday. Residents was calling and reporting they were seeing activities and we were monitoring the situation. So when the, um, it had an explosion this morning and also it had one around 10 o'clock this morning. It had one today, two eruptions for the day thus far. Um, when you see the footage of what is occurring, we have um, a big mud pile that is coming out. We also have gas eliminating out of the um, the site. So what we did, we at the corporation, we cordon off the area. We closed down the park, not indefinitely. Residents will be um, informed when the park will be reopened. But we are expressing every co precaution on our end at the um, Princess Town Regional Corporation to keep the residents safe and the public that will come want to come to view what is going on but at, at the moment the park has to be closed because we are uncertain if there will be any further any further activity with the volcano so we had the fire service inform the um, residents that they, they were asked to evacuate some say that they would not evacuate the um, area because they're not seeing any signs or affecting their home but we did express to them that we are uncertain if there will be further eruptions and they should express every precaution when it comes to their family and their property